Alright, so we're back. Um, so we just did type H. And, yeah. Oh, what a... Oh, there must be something. Dynamic cameras. Pull it, party players have it. I didn't see it as well. Actually, yeah, what the hell? Graphics. Or no. Yeah, the actual game. I don't know. There must be some. There must be something. That's all I can say. A lot of ravens apparently do a lot of PVE today, because I think every party I've been in, with the exception of one, has had more than just me, myself, and I. Yourself in the mood for it. Okay, deal at least 20% damage to the boss. That shouldn't be a problem. Oh, so trick in here, um, just because, again, I don't know if everybody who's watching the video or not has played El Sword, but when you come in, even if you have, you didn't know this, but when you come into this dungeon, if you can knock up the these guys before they get to that low percentage, they will not drink the potion, and you can kill them instantly. Um, I'll give another quick uh, pro tip, I guess you could say, for in here as well. When I get to the next state, or when I get to the spot for it. Come on now, there we go. Oh, look at all those skill cut-ins. Look at all that fan service that you're getting from the Aura. Uh, so you may be wondering why I'm not awakening, as I said, I'll give another quick tip uh, when I get to that state. Uh, with that mob, you literally can just throw it off the bridge and not have to worry about it. It helps when you, more, when you gotta do it for time. You literally throw them off the cliff and then you just come running down here, kill the wyverns, and then by the time you kill the wyverns, the dungeon's already done. Um... So we have a floating raven. Okay, so the next uh, little helpful hint is when you get to this stage and you drink the giant's potion, awaken in awakening three. Why? Because then you see this giant gray or this giant red rage cloud. Guess what stays with you? I'm gonna say yes with a question mark. Because if it is me, then I'm gonna have to stop dungeon. Hang on. No, it can't be me. I just run iRacing on here with perfect connection all the time, and there's no lag, so... 
Uh, now the next quick trip is that everyone is gonna go and fight that last one back there. If you want, you can literally just come down here and do exactly what that blade or what that reckless fist did, and just kill this guy off real quick. Um, that way, then everybody else can clear out their mob, and then you're at the door. Boom! Quick, simple, easy. Hit a mana pot real quick. I'm positive it's not. There's no way. Actually, I'm not even the host, so... And I'm petrified. That sucks. that quick and everything else on the screen is dead always good to the end one two see it's not me For a fact, also, it's not me, is because just like how you saw those coins show up for me in the inventory of everybody else, random items just showed up, which means it's somebody who is lagging. Let me awaken quick because I think another one of those good old fevers is coming, so. Um, also, if you are soloing and you get to this stage, you can actually clear this stage really quickly by just letting all the zombies spawn. Uh, it also increases the amount of money, or sorry, not quickly, but it also increases the amount of money that you're going to get because, as you can see, they're trash mobs, they just drop money. Uh, they're spawns from the graves. Come on. Oh my god, really? They're gonna spawn Ludo right there? Oh, that is so... Alright, so... I'm gonna run down here, I'm gonna hit my hyperactive, it's gonna be too late, but whatever. Oh shoot. Well, I ain't gonna apologize. That's another thing. Try not to use heavy AoE abilities when you're right over a Ludo uh, door. You will open it on accident or not. Oh, I hit one, not both. That sucks. So I'm going to go ahead and wait, because I know that they're coming. And 
If this takes any longer than 10 seconds, which it probably won't, but we'll see. Come on. There we go. Three, two, and awaken for the big aura. That guy should be dead. She probably killed hers already. I would hope. Nope. She tried to kill them without getting the uh, potion, which is quite interesting. Oh, an awakening potion. Oh my goodness, I don't know what hit me, but apparently I got petrified. Oh. Uh, if you haven't noticed also already, I am a massive anime freak, so this kind of epic music in the background is perfect. Uh, if you want my music pack to play in the background, uh, I would have to say you gotta hit up Shoto, he'll then hit me up, and uh, he'll get it onto you. Oh, and of course a fever would rock right then and there. I did not think it was, but oh well. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was bad too. Should be dead. So I'm still awakened for a minute ten with the giant aura around me, which is, as I said, it's more of a niche thing. You end up increasing the hitbox of it, so you end up, I guess you could say, doing more area damage to everything. Um, so you try to clear as quickly as possible, that way then you can kill more mobs, get more stacks on the fever charge, and if the fever charge is stacked up good and high, then guess what? You can stay pretty much in this mode until the boss. No, I'm gonna lose it. Ow. All right, back to regular size raid aura. I actually didn't mean to hit E there, but I'm actually happy I did because that was a misclick in a good way because I did not realize how far down into the dungeon you were. And another awakening potion to make me happy. Alright, let's see how long. So it lasts for 35 seconds. So, yes, get the 5% increase to time is worth. Which means if I get to 300 again, I can actually keep this aura on me all the time. Oh my goodness. Hey, there's another fever, so right back up to full awakening time in level 3. Alright, so let me run down here. Let's see if we can pop off our hyperactive before this all pops off. I don't think we're gonna do it in time. Oh, yes, we are. No, we're not. Oh, 
Um, so yeah, so I was saying last time, if you can get here and you can kill off the very first grave that spawns before any of the other graves spawn, the game will automatically register that the stage is clear and you will be automatically transferred to the next stage. So you wouldn't have to kill the other three graves. So if everyone in the party comes to right here, pops off every single skill that they have available, like pretty much say F you to cooldowns, if you can do that quickly enough, you will be able to clear the stage and go on to the next one. So that's just a quick little FYI. You can try it out with your friends. I've done it more than enough times. So there's probably enough videos of people doing it. And uh, yeah, it's a cool little trick. It really And it really does save time. It saves a lot of time. Uh, as you can also notice, you can see the two physical buffs are currently stacked. Uh, Bloody Axle buff as well as the Giga Drive damage buff. So you got two damage buffs stacked on top of each other, which is absolutely awesome, especially when you want to do as much damage as possible if you can somehow get that 500 MP to do it all. Um, and then still have MP left over to cast other skills. You got a 45% increase to your physical damage, which is just nuts. Oh my god. Oh my god, really? It's like right on the edge of the hitbox. Oh well. Ah, oh, and I can't wait to play a real death. Oh, I got 50 seconds still on my hyperactive. So instead, I'll just use another ability of mine that can cross me clear real quickly. The fact that he's rooted and can still jump up makes no sense, Cog. Please fix. I know it's part of the skill animation, but he's rooted in place. He should not be able to use a skill that has to make him physically get up. I also believe that I have a Blaze Blue music pack as per the ever gracious Lucius. Uh, or Lucifer, sorry, not Lucius, Lucifer, who uh, made that music pack. Uh, it's absolutely awesome. I love it. Uh, the only reason why I'm not using it is because it said I do love this one a little bit more. <laughs> As you can hear, like, listen to that. I'm pretty sure this isn't the Blaze Blue one. If it is, then maybe that's the reason why I love this music pack so much. You can let me know in the comments below when the videos get posted, which one I'm listening to here or not, but... Yeah. Alright. Time to go even more epic. Now, there is a trick to this as well here. There is a ledge all the way on the right side of the screen. If you place him there, it's actually a lot easier to kill him because it's electric storm. Uh, the first strike will easily hit the ledge before it hits you if you're standing under it. Um, it also allows you, when he does his shrinking potion, uh, he will cast the ghost, but the ghost will not hit you, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I was the easy mana pod there, so unfortunately, technically, all of what's happening right now is my fault. But, oh well. Don't forget. Oh, I already did more than 20. Did the 20%. So maybe that's why they all popped off their stuff so quick. They just wanted to get the, uh, sent the damage done to the boss. Oh, there's another trick here. So when the lightning's falling, if you can literally walk to the three steps in each direction, you will live. 
or you can just get out of the cloud altogether. But if you can walk left, right, left, right, like literally in that order, you will dodge all of it. So you just take two steps left, two steps right, two steps left, two steps right. Every time you look to see it on the cast, so I actually really hope he gets to cast it again. So let me use that quick, because I'm dying right now and I need that HP for that. I actually really wish his minions would spawn, because then I can just go bam off the map. Oh, okay, here comes the potion. Uh, here's the other thing that you can do when that happens. Well, you can kill him, but you can also uh, freeze the frame by casting an ability. Um, so he'll still cast his ghost, but you'll be in a freeze frame invincibility moment where you're casting your ability, and he will literally just stand there saying, Aw, I miss you with my ghost. Uh, Gate of Darkness, we're level 70. We don't need the additional EXP. We don't need the cubes, because the only good stuff from the cubes we already have all of, so... Uh, we'll do it the odd time if somebody asks, like in the guild, but otherwise I do not waste my time with that. Uh, okay, so, pet. Yeah, feed it. I get used to this. And then I'll break the recording again, that way then I can post it up as that's Belgrade's Nation on a Blade Master and a Fist. Alright, so I'll be right back.